Hey booktube, I'm the Book Mage, welcome back to my channel. It's about that time of the year again where I sit down and go through all of my ongoing and completed series. So once again this is just going to be a very casual, chatty, low effort kind of video where I'm basically just going to talk through all of the ongoing book series that I'm currently reading, any that I've completed and any that I've DNF'd. Now I did do kind of like a, a mid-year, like halfway through the year sort of like midpoint check-in and I'm gonna be totally honest I think part of the reason it took me so long to actually sit down and film this is because I just don't want to be doing the like mid-year midpoint check-in going forward is the conclusion that I think I have come to. I think it is a double-edged sword of being both more to keep track of and also results in there being like less to update on per video so like I just don't want to do twice the work so <laughs> I have not watched my like mid-year video so I do not remember anything that I said in there and I I'm just gonna pretend like it doesn't exist so I'm going to go through as I did like I think in my first video I think I just went through like the entirety of my ongoing series list and just sort of like let you know where I am with each of the series as opposed to just focusing on the changes because I feel like only focusing on the changes makes the video reliant on you having seen every previous video and also me remembering every previous video I'm not doing it so <laughs> we're just gonna be taking a look at my spreadsheet every year as like a fresh thing so with that said I'm going to start with the actual ongoing series and I think I have 29 ongoing series and I believe at the start of last year I had 25 and it was one of my goals last year to like reduce the number of series that I'm reading or, or more just to like make progress and looking at my chart I have made progress with a lot of the series that like I had ongoing or which I had started but I'm also not going to punish myself for starting new series in fact I think this year coming forward like I've got a lot of videos planned where I'm definitely going to be starting a lot of new series that number is just gonna go up so I'm not even gonna think about it like I, I don't care that the number's going up like if my number of ongoing series is increasing but yeah I'm still making progress like across the board that's a fine trade for me like I don't care that's fine so with all that sort of like boring annoying preamble out of the way the first in my ongoing series same as last year um, is the Dragon Age series of novels now I did make progress in that I read The Calling which is book two however I think I read that in January of last year and then just never made progress now my main like motivator for reading these was the fact that the game was meant to be coming out the fourth installment which I think is going to be the final installment I think because the game got pushed back um my motivation also was like pushed back so I've made progress by one book but I still have four novels to read through and like there's probably going to be more especially by the time the game comes out there's probably going to be more um but progress is progress um the same it can kind of be said for my next series which is the Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice I did finally read the vampire Lestat which is the second book in this series and it was not a great experience like I, I so almost went on to book three at that point but I just decided uh, I don't want to so <laughs> I will still read book three of this series but then I'm calling it quits after book three I think as much as I love vampires and as much as I love the first book like I'm just gonna pretend like there's only three books in this series <laughs> and we're gonna move on okay the Teeling series by Eric E. Hansen I have technically read the entirety of the like main trilogy which I finished like back in 2019 but there is a prequel and I still haven't read it yet Oh, this one should be marked as complete and it isn't um, and that is the Simon Snow series I finally finished it this year I can I can actually take this excuse me while I do some housekeeping which means I actually only have 28 ongoing I guess um, yep I read the third and final book this year it was so not worth it but at least I completed it okay then the Nikolai duology by Lee Bardugo um, I have not yet read Rule of Wolves I have put it in like my read it or unhaul it TBR jar so if I don't get to it through my own like accord um the jar might spit it out for me so I might just end up reading it at some point anyway so I'm still on with this one I'm not DNFing the series but I just have like no will to continue but I also cannot leave it incomplete because I've read every other Grisha book so I will power on uh also been on here an extremely long time is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir now I've read the first book and really enjoyed it I think I gave it like four stars when I first read it granted that was like right at the start of 2019 when am I ever going to continue with this I don't want to DNF it I guess not to be like future video spoilery I guess but um I think what I'm intending to do is if you've seen like one of my latest videos which is my like read it or unhaul it random TBR jar type challenge um I have 50 books in that jar or 49 now as of this video and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a almost like a round two 
of books that I'm going to put in there, but I'm not going to put them in yet. Um, I think I'm going to make a second list of other books on my TBR, specifically maybe from like my ongoing series, and like shove those in there as well. I'll probably keep them separate until I've like run that series enough to like get used to it, but when the jar starts to get a bit low, I might throw in like the whole like second generation <laughs> of books that I need to like just read or unhaul. And I think that A Torch Against the Night, which is the second book in the series, definitely is going to be in there. So I am determined to at least give the next book in this series a go because in my memory I really enjoyed this series and it had a lot of potential but I'm like, mm, have I changed? Is that just my memory? We'll see. So saying that, there might be quite a few on this list that I also put in like Gen 2 TBR jar hell. <laughs> oh, do you know, the next one included, um, The Witcher series by Andrei Sapkowski. I read The Last Wish. I don't like short story collections and I know book two is also that. I do not know what book two is called. For some reason I haven't read it down here, but I do own it. I own like one of the nice newer special edition hardbacks of it. So like, I mean I've spent money on it so I'll read it. So I will also put that into like the TBR jar help. But um, yeah, I have not made any progress with this series since book one. Um, the next series on here, World of the Five Gods. Ah, again. It's massively high on like my internal brain logic like TBR but also I feel like I just have no drive to pick up this series not because I didn't love book one. Uh, the Curse of Chalion was a five star book for me and I really do like the world and the writing. It's just that like this is such a niche series nobody ever talks about it and so like I, I feel like I don't get a lot of like external stimulus to like pick up this series. Um, I'm looking at the book right now and it is one that I do really want to read so it's in no danger of being DNF'd. I think I just forget about it sometimes. And also because book two is different characters than book one. Like, if my boy Kazarel was the main character of book two, I would have read it years ago. <laughs> okay, the Something Dark and Holy series by Emily Duncan. I definitely will give the second book in this series a try because I own all the really nice special editions of it. I kind of have some like future video ideas planned around like some of these series if we're being honest. Like I feel like there's a few of these that I could maybe like my motivation could be to just group them all into like a like a themed video or something and like have that be my motivation for picking them up and I feel like that series could fit well into like one or two of the ideas that I have so it will get read. Whether it gets DNF'd is a whole nother thing but I will at least read book two. Okay the next series on this spreadsheet is the Outsider series by Claire Delis. I think this series is dead. I don't think we're ever gonna get a book three. This was like an indie, like self-published series. Book one and book two came out and then there was never a book three and then I believe the author was publishing them from the start as like a comic which was obviously going to take a long time and I don't think her website even exists anymore. I think she's still active. I, th I think I follow her on TikTok. I think what I'm gonna do, I just don't see book three ever coming out if I'm totally honest. I'm just gonna move this off of my spreadsheet and then like if I'm wrong in like a year's time does it matter? I'm gonna put this into the completed section because I feel like it just is completed so we're back down now to 27 series ongoing so like honestly my stats aren't even looking that bad anymore. <laughs> um, next is the Captive Prince series I think this is by CS Packat. Again I will continue with this series I'm not gonna DNF it but this is another one that I think I'm probably gonna put in like the, the TBR jar. It just gives them more potential to get picked up so that can probably go in there as well. And so next on my little spreadsheet is the Band series by Nicholas Eames. Now book three has been coming out for like the past five years. It has a title, I don't know if it's ever actually coming out. I'm holding out hope and that's why I'm not going to move this one off of my ongoing spreadsheet. Even though I have like no idea when it's even coming out, if it's even coming out anymore, um, I'm not going to delete it until I know that it's definitely not happening. Otherwise I literally cannot make progress with it. If it were here I would be making so much progress because I really want to read it. Okay, next is the Beautiful series by Renee Adia. I've still only read book one. I have made zero progress in this series. I will put book two into the jar. <laughs> that is my penance. But then I come to the Gentleman Bastard sequence by Scott Lynch. Um, I did read book two this year. Granted again it was... I keep saying this year. It's 2023. We're in 2024 now. Have not yet gone on to Republic of Thieves but my issue is there are only two books in this series that I have not read or that like I have to go and I know that they're really slow going in terms of being published so like I'm kind of trying to savour them a little bit. <laughs> I do have every intention of going on with this series, I did make progress, um, I gave both books so far in this series a five star so safe to say I will be going on with this series. 
Okay, and getting the award for the series where I've made the most progress is the Murderbot Diaries series by Martha Wells. So this year I read Artificial Condition, Rogue Protocol, and Exit Strategy, and also the called like the something of work or there's like a two-page short story online somewhere. But if we're not counting that, I, I essentially ticked off three main entries in this series. Granted, they are all novellas. I still am three books down in one year into this series. Um, I would have gone on to read Network Effect, but I feel like that is the one that is the full-length novel, <laughs> which might be why I got to that point and then stopped. <laughs> but three books in a year is not bad, and I will be continuing with this series. I do still enjoy it, so it's still ongoing. Okay, The Poppy War by R.F. Quang. Now, I think I'll just put The Dragon Republic into the TBR jar because in a weird way, this is one of the series that stands out to me of like everything on here as one that I genuinely might DNF. And it's, I think it's just because it is very long. The first book for me was kind of like a slog to get through and I feel like it's like perfectly balanced in terms of things I did and didn't like. Again, I'm so 50-50 on whether I actually like their writing or their characters at all. I have just heard really great things about the series though, so like I will at least give the second book a go, but and I feel really bad as well because like I, I, I feel like I should love this series like on paper. I mean I know a book is on paper, but like I feel like I should love everything about this series. But I'll put book two into the TBR jar because then that way either I will pick it up or I'll be forced to pick it up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I definitely don't just want to like DNF a series without giving it another shot because like maybe it gets good in book two. Who knows? Um, then we have the Lawful Time series by Daniel Green. I have not yet gone on to read Rebels Creed. I vaguely recall him saying something about like a a rewritten or re-edited edition of the books coming out at some point, maybe. Unless I just like made that up in my head. I feel like that's what's happening though, um, so I think I've kind of put that series on pause, um, but I will be continuing with it. If I remember rightly the like introductory novella, I feel like it had a lot of promise, so I do want to go on to read like the mainline series books. Next I also have the Enderall series, which I think is now called Twelfth World. Book two, A Cure for Living, is allegedly coming out this year. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, if not this year, then I'm guessing next year. But I've seen a fair few people saying that it's going to be a 2024 release, in which case this series will be updated the second I get my hands on it. This is like one of my most hyped books of the year. So definitely one I will continue with, I just do not have the next book yet. <sighs> the same goes for the next entry, which is the Empire of the Vampire series by Jay Kristoff. Um, I will be reading Empire of the Damned, Boo Boo the Fool though I may be. Have I pre-ordered more than one copy of book two? Yes. My camera cut me off in the middle of my J. Kristoff rant, so like, I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a sign. Um, I will be reading this, I think it comes out on the 29th, right on the bisext. So I will be reading this, if it gets to me on the 29th of Feb, I'll read it immediately day one. Um, oh, and now we come to my actual, actual most anticipated book. Um, it is the Empire of the Wolf series by Richard Swan. Um, I did continue with this series this year, or last year rather. Um, it was the second to last book that I read in the whole of 2023, The Tyranny of Faith. Um, but I read it, I give it five stars, it just missed out on being my favourite book of the year, oh my god. Currently I am as up to date in the series as I can possibly be, but in a couple weeks book three comes out, I do have it pre-ordered, I will be reading it the second I get my hands on it. I'm pretty sure it comes out on the 8th of February. I am up to date. I will be completing this series um, the second I get the last book. Okay, then we have the Themis Files, which is Sylvain Nouvelle. So I I don't know if it's a mistake or not. Um, I picked up this series initially as part of like my audiobook challenge, like way at the start of last year. So I read Sleeping Giants and then did go on to read Waking Gods, also as an audiobook. So like I'm two books in, but the thing is, my library does not have the third and final book. Uh, on audio or otherwise and like I want to listen to it on audio but I don't like for that challenge I used up like all of my like free trials and I, I'm not gonna pay for like an audiobook they're really short as well and I, I don't enjoy audio enough to want to like pay for one I'm a physical media kind of girly like uh, it's just not it's not happening um, I'm not signing up to anything so until my library like gets it I'm just shit out of luck so I've gone many times this year to like look through the catalogue and just see do they have it do they got it and I'm a member of two libraries and like one of the libraries that I'm a member of is closing down all of its like digital media ebooks are gonna be gone and I'm like okay great my options if anything are getting like more limited so the only reason I've not gone on with this is because I literally just can't I will wait for some way to access the third and final book in audio format for free I refuse to do this any other way so that's why that is how it is yeah that was the first of the series that I started this year um 
I have started, in 2023, I started eight new series that I then didn't go on to DNF um, and I've actually started a whole new series already in 2024 which is on here. So last year I did start the Dresden Files. Um, I only read the first book Stormfront. I have no idea what any of the other books are called or how many they are. I'm not I'm not gonna go looking for it but um, I think I will continue with this series. I just like it's it's there and I'm just not gonna think about it because I think it's a really long <laughs> series and I'm guessing after like maybe two or three books I will know whether I'm into it or whether it's one that I just won't continue with um, but for now I'm leaving it here as an ongoing series. Then we have The Lands of the Firstborn by Gareth Hanrahan. Um, so I read the first book The Sword Defiant. I liked it but I wasn't I was a bit underwhelmed by it if I'm honest um, but I am going to go on to read book two. I'll let you know as and when I've read book two whether I'm continuing this series or not. Um, it could be a duology for all I know but <laughs> If it's any more than that, it all hinges on book two. So I will continue with it for now. Oh, I got, I forgot about this one. I don't know how. Uh, better to say maybe I repressed it. Um, the Empyrean series by Rebecca Yaros. Uh, I, if it were up to me, I would DNF it. Um, so I read Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. Just both last year. How did they come out in the same year? Ah, uh, ah, uh, awful. Curses, the hexes. Yeah, I read them both. Wish I hadn't. Um, wish I could DNF it, but... Literally my best friend is really into this series and likes to read them and like also have me read them So I've got at least one more book left in me. We'll see how it goes But like I don't know when book three is coming out. I pray it's in a long long time and not anytime soon um, I may have to try and like <laughs> Renegotiate the terms of my agreements with my friends in regards to this series um, But for now it is unfortunately on my ongoing series list after that we have something actually good which is the Ascendant series by Jay Posey. Um, I read Every Sky a Grave because I was, I, I was just, I, this is a book that I've never heard anybody else talk about and I got so incredibly hype over it and it was good, it was decent, it was a four stars. Not as good as I expected but it was still pretty good. Um, I haven't done my latest haul yet but I have purchased book two so I fully intend to finish this series. It is only a duology and I do want to know how it ends. I have all the means to finish it, I just have not done so yet. Um, I think I only read Every Sky a Grave in November, so I've only started it really recently. It will however get finished, I, I want to say definitely this year, I don't want to jinx myself but I will finish it. Then I also in November started the Camelot Rising series and this is by Kirsten White I believe. Um, so I read The Guinevere Deception and weirdly enjoyed it. Now I have a couple times thought about picking up books two and three and I haven't done that yet, I think I'm gonna wait until I actually want to pick them up to go ahead and pick them up like I, I'm only gonna pick them up I think when I'm ready to read them but I think I am at least gonna read book two they're YA but I did surprisingly like it so this is a series that I will continue I do not own book two or three but I will cross that bridge when I get to it another one that I started also in did I start this in December or did I start this in January I so think I have marked these books wrong. I've marked them as last year. We're actually moving on to the books that I did start in 2024. I started the Emily Wilde series, so I have read Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Um, I picked this up because, well, I do have the Fairy Loot edition of it, um, but also I'm part of what me and my friends call Goth Girl Book Club. This was the January pick for, or the December pick for January for Goth Girl Book Club. Book two comes out either like this month or next month. It comes out really, really soon. It might already be out, if I'm honest. I am intending to go on and read book two. I don't know if that will be part of Goth Girl Book Club, um, but either way, I will continue with this series. I won't say too much about it because, like, I have a whole last wrap-up to do on it, but it's not one that I'm massively into, but I will continue with it. You will have seen in my last video, kind of accidentally, through the will of the TBR jar, I started the Dragon Scales series. So I read Dragonfall should have DNF'd it and um, with that said I am actually going to mark this series as DNF'd. <laughs> so technically I only started six series last year and I've only started two so far this year. The last of which, I literally have it behind me, it is the Hanged God series by Tilda Coldholt. Um, the first book being Northern Wrath. I am uh, 44 pages into it. But like I said, 2024 is for picking up all like the big chunky fantasy series that I want to get to and not caring whether I'm starting new series. So this number is going to go up a lot. So I have added it on to my chart. I, th I think unless there's like a, a, a massive disaster with this book, which I don't think there will be, um, I will be reading that and continuing with the series. So I've put it onto my little ongoing chart for now. Um, so how many do I actually have? 
Oh, so I actually only have 26 series ongoing, which is only one more than last year. I've done so well. <laughs> I've actually done so well. I somehow brought this down from 29 to 26 in one video. Go me. On that note, let us look at what I completed last year. So, yeah, I completed six series in 2023, and I've also marked Outsider as complete, even though the last time I read it was 2019. So the series that I completed in 2023, I have the Black Iron Legacy by Gareth Hanrahan. So I read the Broken God, which is the third book in the series. Now, I don't think it's technically the final book because of, well, one, I know how the story ends and it definitely doesn't like end end there. And I'm pretty sure the author has said that like it's not a trilogy, it's not a three book series. I think he's, I think there might be some like author contractual stuff to, to finish those three books, but that I think there are still books to come. I think he's just doing a different series for now, but I believe this series is going to continue in future installments, but for now there's like nothing on the horizon that I'm aware of. So I've marked it as complete temporarily. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like a Jarba Crumbie situation where they come in like separate trilogies, who knows, um, or whether this is just going to go on to straight like a book four, then book five, then book six. Not entirely sure. Um, so for now, it's completed. There are no more books in this world to read, and I'm sad about it because this is one of my favourite series. Actually hoping for more <laughs> soon. I also read A Day of Fallen Night, which means that I am up to date with the Roots of Chaos series by Samantha Shannon, but I think she is going to write more in this world like linked to this series. Um, I think she said she's had ideas for like two or three more potential stories like at different points in history in this world. For now it's complete but if there's any more uh, I'll be resurrecting the series. <laughs> also I have read the entirety of the First Law original trilogy. So I read Last Argument of Kings in 2023 and it ended up being my favourite book of the year. So I will be going on to subsequent series. I think it's the Great Leveller next. Yeah, Simon Snow I already told you I completed when I moved it over. Um, the Raven's Mark series by Ed McDonald. I read both Raven Cry and Crowfall last year. Solid series, glad to have it finally ticked off. And oh, for some reason I had Simon Snow on there twice. Oh, which is sad because I now technically only finished five series last year. This is what happens when my chart is not up to date. I guess uh, win some, lose some. <laughs> and then talking about my uh, DNFs. I have DNF'd six series in the past year, so the Three Dark Crowns series, I read the first book, Three Dark Crowns, I think it's Kendara Blake, did not like it, DNF after one book. The Queen's Rising series by Rebecca Ross, I think? Same situation, DNF'd after one book. The Butcher and the Wren by Elena Urquhart, DNF the book, DNF the series. <laughs> so The Luminaries, I read that in November and decided I'm not going to continue, so DNF that series, and I think I have already talked about Dragonfall. Don't remember what I said about it, I remember mentioning it already. I am not continuing with the series so I'm marking that series down as a DNF. After that is five series that I DNF'd, um, although I technically DNF that one in 2024. So four DNFs for last year and um, one early DNF for this year. So there you go, um, that is my up-to-date ongoing series list. I have no idea if any of you actually find this information interesting um, but I think it is kind of good for me to just sort of like go through and I guess just do like a bit of housekeeping like some of this stuff was in the wrong place. I think it's maybe good as well for reminding me what I've got in my obligations um, and also what I'm excited for. Cure for Living, Trials of Empire, Every Star a Song, like these are books that I feel like I'm definitely going to get to like within the next, I mean pretty much as soon as they come out and then some of them like Every Star a Song is like when I have time but this year. And I, I don't know maybe it's good for you guys to kind of know like what I'm thinking about reading, like what's what's on like the back burner, you know what I mean? And also a lot about what might be going into the <laughs> second um, set of books in TBR Jar Hell. Uh, hopefully this has been kind of interesting. What I will say as well about um, in terms of like series and stuff, this is definitely going to be going up, like I, I think I mentioned at the beginning, but like my aim is not to get this lower now, it's just to make progress like as long as I can see like if, if I can see like lots of little bars going up if I start 20 series but they're all making progress that for me is better than like just ticking everything off that I've already started and I do have quite a lot of videos planned where I think I will be starting a lot of new series but we're just we're just gonna live with it we're just gonna deal with it um I mean if I I do have a master list which includes 
nearly all the series that I own. There are definitely some things that I have hauled recently which are not on this spreadsheet yet. Um, but if I scroll all the way to the bottom, it does look like I have at least, at least, um, 118 book series on my shelves. Minimum. Um, <laughs> so I have a lot to choose from. I have a lot to get through. Uh, it is going to be my goal to start some of those. So stats be damned. Um, this is probably going to be a lot longer of a video come next year. Hopefully this has been of some interest to you. Um, I mean, I can only hope. I, I can't actually make <laughs> this video any more interesting than it already is, at least not to my knowledge. I guess hopefully by this point next year I won't just be talking about the same books over and over and over again. Um, I'll definitely have some completed series and some new starters, but like, I feel like I, I kind of need to get like some of those like old, a lingering ongoing series like shoved off. And hopefully the TBR jar will help with that. So that is kind of everything I have to say on the ongoing series topic. I suppose leave me a little book stack emoji because I have stacks to read. Um, and maybe let me know how many like ongoing series that you guys actually have. I will say my ongoing series I have only tracked from when I started booktube so anything else before that is just like lost to the sands of time in my brain. If you guys track it let me know how many ongoing series you're currently having to deal with and if that's not something that you keep track of or like actually know off the top of your head. Um, I think I've asked this before but like let me know if there's anything on here that you're thinking like I'm probably seriously not going to enjoy or that I might like really need to get to sometime soon because maybe things like really kick off in book two and I'm just missing out. So thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you're all reading something good and not being jinxed by me with all like my DNFs and delays <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!